Hey, hey, you guys, it's Kiana coming at you today, and I'm coming at you with a makeup tutorial. All right, um, this makeup tutorial, as you see in the, um, the title of the video, this is geared towards having lighter eye eyebrows, okay, for lighter hair colors. Now, yesterday, as you saw, I did have dark eyebrows with my blonde wig review. All right, and I did that because I already had did my brows and already had a separate wig on. Now, at times when I'm being lazy, I must admit that I don't, um, you know, I don't usually do my brows in a lighter color. All right, but it does look better, and I'm going to show you how you can do that with just simply using something that we always use. All right, I'm going to be using my 120 palette from BH Cosmetics, but you can use the ones that I got from that big haul from Coastal Scents. If you did not see that huge haul that I did where I got six palettes and two eyeshadow br brushes for $50, you have to go see that video. All right, so I am going to use a few shadows out of my 120 palette. And we're going to stick towards, of course, the lighter browns and tans and things like that. Specifically, I'm going to be using this color. All right. And this is what it looks like. I've been using this palette, as you all know, for almost two years. And as you can see, it's plenty left. So um, this is one of those palettes that you can buy and you won't have to buy any for a long, long time. Alright, so if you're worrying about, you know, starting off doing makeup or if you're worrying about just making sure that you look fly on a budget, then those palettes are that definitely the way to go. Um, again, you can get that from BH Cosmetics, but you can also get it from Coastal Scents. And even though you probably missed the deal alert that I gave you, where they were $8 for a limited amount of hours um, for on a certain day, you probably missed that deal. Um, in fact, you did. But... Um, they do have them right now, I think, for uh, $12 or $13 or $14, uh, which is still good because they're usually $24.99 everywhere else, including BH Cosmetics. So, all right, so what you want to do is um, you're going to need uh, you're gonna need your concealer because that's what we're going to use to sculpt the brow. You're going to need a uh, eyebrow pencil, and I'm using dark brown, but I'll show you how it still will wind up light. You're going to need an angled brush and that's a firm angled brush because that's what we're going to use for the sculpting as well and you're going to need the eyeshadows all right and of course like i said some concealer um so that you can use for the sculpting now right now this is my natural brow all right so i'm going to show you like i said it's not going to be all the way blonde um but it's going to be a softer brown um versus the dark brown that i usually wear and if you look at my video from yesterday you'll actually be able to compare how how the brow is lighter, uh, which is more appealing to the eye. All right, so what we're going to start doing is we're going to use the pencil, all right? And I actually can use a little sharp to this, but I'm just going to go ahead and roll with it. We're going to use the pencil just to define the line a little bit more. All right? And, of course, if you have any gaps or whatever, I don't have any really, but if you have any gaps, that will fill in as well. But the pencil is going to define the line. Now, you don't have to do it too heavy, and you don't have to use dark brown. You can use a light brown or a medium brown, but this is what I have available, and it's all about working with what you have. All right, so what we're going to do is we're defining the line. So we've already done the bottom which is defining the line. As you can see, you can see the difference between this one and this one. But we're going to also do it to the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill in with the, the shadow. like so all right then we're going to take our brush our angled brush and then we're going to go into this color that i was showing you guys before we're going to go into that color and we're going to pat it on okay
And what that does is it's just going to light it, lighten it up. So we're going to pat it on. And I'll show you in a minute by just going a little bit more up close for you guys. And you'll be able to see how this section that I'm patting on is actually lighter than the section that I didn't touch yet. I found that doing it this way, it just gives it a more natural look for me. And it also doesn't make it too light that it looks really unnatural. Are you seeing how... And we're not smearing it on, we're just patting it on. Of course, in the next video, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see how both eyes look together. Because I'm just going to do one for you. And then on my next video, of course, you'll be able to see how it looks pulled together. Now, we're going to start stroking it in. All right, and if you see this brow, we haven't even sculpted it, but it's literally matching this hair. Now, this hair is my usual color, which is like a 2216. Um, I believe that's my color usually, 2210 or 16. So, as you can see, just using that 120 palette that we use for our eyeshadow, I try to show you that you can use things for a variety of different ways. You don't have to use it for what it's necessarily made for or only for what it's made for. Right now, I'm just fading because your natural brow usually fades towards the beginning the start and then it darkens as it goes along so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just simply fading it like so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the same brush and we're going to go into some concealer just add a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and sculpt that brow. What this is going to do is just going to basically clean it up and it's going to also define it a little bit more. Just going to take that concealer and just go along the edges, you guys. And that just cleans it up. We're going to do the same thing we just now did to the bottom. We're going to do that at the top. Again, just going along the line. Just cleaning it up. like so. Alright. And of course, I'm going to zoom in for you guys a little bit in a second. And as you can see, this is like a really light brown with like a blondish tone. We used an eyeshadow for it.
but as you can see starting off with my natural brow and by just simply using those products that I just told you that we already have in our you know beauty wardrobe so to speak you just simply use those products and this brow goes to this brow by just simply using those products it doesn't take long it took me 10 minutes because I'm talking and I'm doing an instructional vid so therefore of course it's going to take a little longer but as you know if we were just doing this in our own home without trying to instruct anybody this would have took me probably about four minutes to do but you don't have a harsh dark brown eyebrow like we normally do you have a more softer more natural more cohesive eyebrow to match your blondish or blonde hair so on that note you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it has shown you something I hope it has enlightened you to something and yes you too can have a more cohesive look with your blonde hair with using no spits no you know extra products that you have to buy using just simply some eyeshadow from maybe your neutral palettes on that note I love you all so much and thank you for rolling with me you'll see the end results in the next video be blessed